I came to Positive ID uh, kind of in a roundabout way. I was uh, planning to murder somebody. And as it turns out, um, that person was very lucky because I happened to write this long film. And it took a couple of years, and I forgot about it over that period of time. One year ago, Julie Kenner was the victim of a violent crime. How did it feel? How did that feel? But it was basically a blueprint when it started. It was a blueprint so I could murder someone and get away with it. I started out making films about, I don't know, I guess 25 years ago. Um, I've been making a lot of co commercial work, and I wanted to make something that, that was truly mine. And so I came up with a kind of bizarre idea uh, called Point of View. And it pretty much set the, the tone for everything else I'd do. What is this? What is this? What is this? I always wanted to do things that were a little provocative, which brings up ritual. Ritual eventually turns out to be something different for everyone that sees it. Each person applies their life as the last component of this film. I think that's the function of art, is to take people places they don't want to go and let them have a look at it and let them figure out, you know, what the hell was that? The movie pretty much ends later in the coffee shop or weeks later when they're talking about it. Or as people told me, you know, for years, they can't stop thinking about it. Positive ID obviously is about identity. Did you ever want to just change your life? It's not as difficult as you might imagine. With some simple research, some people have been able to slip through the system and assume the identities of deceased individuals and back them up with legitimate documentation. Now I just need some ID, Miss King. To the new Julie Kenner. 3500 block, Lancaster. A woman was arrested for public lewdness. There were events that led me to drive-by shooting. I wanted to do something that, that talked about how events shape the identity of places. Think of Dealey Plaza. 1500 block, Chambers. A police officer was killed in Oakland Park. That completely changed the identity of that place for me. I couldn't think of that park without thinking of that murder. A 12-year-old girl said she was in a public street when another person hit her in the chest during an argument. After drive-by shooting, I wanted to do another feature again. It had been about 10 years. I did want to do something commercial, and so I had an idea based on my experience as a teacher. The lunatics are running the asylum. Teachers get assaulted. Oh, oh, there's no budget. There's no books. Attention isn't, isn't about what, what might happen. It's about what will happen if things don't change. I make the films I want to make as a choice. I know I'll never be rich. I know that uh, I'll also never be tall. But I have to keep doing it. It's what I do. I'm a junkyard dog. Deep in the Arts, part of KERA KDTN's continuing coverage of the arts in North Texas is made possible in part by Dallas-Fort Worth area Lexus dealers.